Let's talk a little bit about security controls and baselines. And to illustrate this, we're going to use the Snuffy family and their upcoming road trip. So as they prepare to go on their road trip, one of the things that they have to do, of course, is pack, right? So they're going to have to pack things like food and clothing and games and, and things like that. And then they're all ready to go. And then they hop in their RV. They leave around 9 a.m. in the morning and about 4 p.m. in the afternoon, Johnny says, are we there yet? And it dawns on Mr. Snuffy, in order to arrive, I have to define what the destination is going to be. And he forgot to do that. So just like security, cyber attackers excel when there's no clear security destination. So let's talk about two primary components that make up that security destination today. And we're going to start that discussion with talking about security controls. So similar to packing your bags for the road trip, we have security controls. And they're offered by folks like NIST and SANS, ISO, NERC. And they provide for us consistency, repeatability, documentation primarily, continuous monitoring of our environment. So how does this liken back to our RV example? Well, security controls are the core of the security baseline, just like the fun that we're going to have on our road trip, the food, the clothing, etc. is the core of that fun. And then we have to go to a baseline. So what is a baseline? It is the destination. We call this an ATO in the federal government, things like FISMA, DICAP, FedRAMP, HIPAA. These are all security baselines just like a map guides us on our road trip as illustrated here a security baseline helps us with that so packing is just like nist controls and the road map will thwart the efforts of that cyber attack by establishing clear defined baselines using our security controls